Hi, my name is Rob Walker. I'm with AEA Technology. Here today to talk to you about the AEA Liberator Site Analyzer. In this segment, we'll learn about using the AEA Liberator Spectrum Analyzer. The analyzer operates from 100 kilohertz to 1.5 gigahertz. To begin, power the unit up. You'll see on startup that we've displayed the serial number and the software version. You go to mode and select Spectrum Analyzer, hit enter. You can go to mode again and select option settings to adjust your sweep time. Currently it's set at 8 milliseconds. It can be anywhere from 8 milliseconds up to 1 second. We'll leave it at 8 milliseconds for this test. Hit escape. Back up to spectrum analyzer again. Enter. And we have an operational spec in. So now let's look at the frequency. I'm going to be chasing a UHF transmitter. I don't know where that transmitter is. So I'm going to start off at 460 megahertz. Well, maybe I'll start at 450 megahertz. 450 megahertz, and I know it's in the UHF band, but I'm not sure where. So let's start off with 100 megahertz and see where this thing's going to be at. Hit enter. Now, you need to consider when setting up the AEA Liberator Spectrum Analyzer. First, the display only has 250 points. So in a wider uh, spread like this, a wide frequency spread, the first test is just going to give us a rough idea of where to look. So I have a UHF portable here. I'm going to key, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to turn on cursor A. I'm going to key that up. You can see the little, barely see the little uh, signal right there, and that's because my, my scale is way up. I'm going to unkey here. You can change scales simply by touching the scale button. So we're going to do down, go down a couple here. There we go. Now we've got a pretty good reading. Now we have cursor A turned on. We can hit auto-tune and it'll take us to the highest signal level. So it's shown to be 464, 400. So now we know it's in the 464 range, but remember we only have 250 dots. So it's not going to be completely accurate uh, at that, that wide of a, sp of a spread on the display. So we can go back up here to frequency change the span now we know we're in the 460 range so let's make that 460 and let's make the span 10 megs wide oh no not 70 10 megs wide and hit enter and we'll look for that transmitter again hit auto tune now and now we're getting a little closer it says it's 464 800 so let's move this frequency here over 464 and we'll bring the spread down again let's make it 5 megs wide hit enter now we got a pretty good actually going off of the display uh, on the, at the top for total signal level again hit auto tune and it takes us to 464 500 so that's how you would do it once you find the, the, the frequency of interest or whatever you're looking for, uh, you're capable to, of, let's say the transmitter's on here. If I want to capture that, all I have to do is touch memory, data save here, and name the file using an old style cell phone keypad. So I just go in here and name it test or whatever I'd like to name it. And it'll save that information along with that signal level. Hold it. And we'll make all the rest of those blank. Whoop, I'm going too fast. And we'll call that one one. Hit enter. And now it'll save that signal. To recall that information, just hit data recall. Go down and find the test. I can go page by page by hitting my right arrow. You can see it's the last test here. Test 1, SPA for Spectrum Analyzer. And there's the signal that I had recorded. I can also save my setups the same way here in memory. Whoop, can't do it from the test page. Got to escape. I can save my setup by hitting memory and then selecting Save Settings and naming the settings. This would be a spec in the UHF 460 range. 
It's just that easy. AEA, testing made simple.